Hello, and welcome to the Higher Ed Paradigm channel. In this video, I will be talking about which documents you need to gather to complete the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, also known as the FAFSA. So pay attention. The Free Application for Federal Student Aid is a U.S. government form completed by prospective and current higher education students in the United States. The form is used to determine eligibility for student financial aid. Specifically, completing the FAFSA will determine your eligibility to get a sweet slice of more than 150 billion smackaroos that are distributed to students in the form of college grants, work-study funds, and federal student loans. And just in case you didn't know, smackaroos is the technical term for U.S. dollars. To be eligible for financial aid, you will need to get your keister in gear and complete the FAFSA in advance, sometime between the end of December and June 30th. The FAFSA should be available by December 31st this year. This means that completing the FAFSA can be your New Year's resolution. Wow, lucky you. So just to be clear, you need to complete the FAFSA before the school year you are hoping to receive aid for. Don't dilly-dally, get to it. It is important to stress that the June 30th deadline is the federal deadline. Each state and school can have its own FAFSA deadline, so you'll need to check these. You can check state deadlines on the U.S. government website, studentaid.gov. Just search for FAFSA deadlines in the search tool and then enter your state and the FAFSA year in the drop-down menus. To find the deadlines and priority dates for schools you want to attend, check the individual student aid websites for each school. These dates are usually easy to find because the schools need you to get these funds so they can make that sweet, sweet tuition money. Once you have identified the deadlines and priority dates that matter for your state and the schools you are interested in, you can start gathering the documents that you will need. The documents you need are slightly different depending upon your status. I don't mean status in the Rolls-Royce versus Honda Civic sense. In this case, status refers to whether you are still snuggling under the protective wing of mommy and daddy, or are you flying solo. For example, are a US citizen who is also listed as someone's dependent in income tax filings? In other words, do your parents claim you as a dependent on their taxes? Or are you a US citizen who is independent and not claimed on someone else's taxes? If you are both a dependent listed on someone else's taxes and a U.S. citizen, you will need to gather your Social Security card, any tax documents from the previous year for anyone claiming you on their taxes, and also your own tax documents. This is a great opportunity to find out how much your parents actually make every year, especially if they've evaded answering your questions about this up until now. Tax documents include W-2 forms and income tax records. You will also need to gather recent bank statements from yourself and anyone claiming you on their taxes and records on investments and untaxed income. If it looks like your parents have been cheating on their taxes, you should probably keep this insight to yourself and not report it to the IRS. You don't want next Thanksgiving to get awkward. You should also gather your driver's license if you've bothered to get one. If you are an independent student and a U.S. citizen, you will need your Social Security card, tax documents such as W-2 forms and income tax records, bank statements, investment records, and records on any untaxed income. You will also need to gather your driver's license again if you have one. You will not need documents for any other person if you are independent. Now that you have gathered all of the correct documents based upon your status, you'll need to create a list of all the schools you are applying to. You will list these schools while completing the FAFSA so that the government knows who to send your FAFSA report to. But don't worry. Schools that receive your report will not be able to see the other schools you are applying to, so Stanford won't see that you're also applying to Harvard. Now grab a caffeinated beverage, a bag of Cheetos, and a computer. Typing is always better with cheese fingers. Open the Federal Student Aid website. There is a tab at the top of the website that offers instructions on how to fill out the application online. It is pretty intuitive and straightforward. After submitting the FAFSA, you may be selected for verification in which case the Department of Education will provide directions. Also, once you receive financial aid offers from schools, I recommend carefully considering all the costs associated with going to a specific school. Life will cost a lot more for a student in Manhattan than for a student in Banjo Alley, Mississippi. Also, remember that student loans will most likely need to be repaid, so make a realistic assessment of how much debt you are willing to accumulate to get that totally useful in the real world degree in medieval history. And finally, you will need to renew your FAFSA every year that you are a student. Don't forget it, and if you have anything to add, write it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.